hello and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i just wanted to quickly talk about this little sketchbook um, and review it really because i've been quite chuffed with how well it's gone a few weeks ago my sketchbook um, became full and i needed a new one so i went online to have a look at them and this is the one that i decided to buy in the end now i wanted something quite small as you know i like to go walking and i wanted something in my rucksack that was handy size but also not too heavy because i don't want to be carrying any extra weight up hills if i don't have to so this is a nice little size so i googled a6 sketchbooks um, because I wanted something small and there actually wasn't very many A6 ones to choose from so I have linked this one down below if you want to have a look at that that's in the description below um, I'm not going to pronounce this because I'm assuming it's a German word and I haven't got a clue how to pronounce it but I will put it on the screen there for you to have a look at I've bought quite a lot of paper from these in the past and I really like the papers I've bought loose sheets and pads and things before um, and that was one of the reasons I chose it actually because I knew that their papers um, were good quality papers so when I had a bit of trouble finding them I thought well whilst I'm there I'll buy two that's why I've got the two so um, I haven't opened this one yet, this is a new one. So we've got 30 sheets, over six, so it gives you 60 pages. And it's a 200 gram. Now those of you that are regular to my channel will all know that I usually say to beginners when you're learning um, with watercolour is not to have anything less than 140 gram in weight um, because it really just doesn't take enough water and you'll be disappointed with your results. So the fact that it's 200 grams in such a small handy size book was another attractive thing um, because I don't want the water going through from one page to another and spoiling what's underneath there so uh, after that um, we needed to test it really so I've been using it for a few weeks now and those of you that are on Instagram and that follow me on Instagram will probably have seen some of these images but I'll just as I've got a few things drawn now um, or painted should I say I thought I would show you and show you how much I like this little book so it's got that there which um, obviously again once it's in my rucksack it means that it's um, fastened up quite nicely and not getting damaged it's really nice and tough you can actually use that to hold whilst you're um, sketching as well which is another good thing but it's a nice tough hard cover even though it's light in weight so that was a good thing it's obviously got a bookmark there as well so you can see where you're up to okay so I'll just go through the the pictures like I said those of you that are on Instagram will have already seen these but I just want to give you a bit of an idea of how thick that is you can tell by the sound that is a lovely thick paper um, and as you can see the colours haven't gone through from one page to the next the colours are nice and fresh there's no going through um, so it's really really nice to work with and you can lift the colours off a little bit as well if you make mistakes I mean it doesn't really matter in a sketchbook about make correcting your mistakes and things you're just doing a sketch for future reference um, so I've just been doing some spring flowers and things out and around the house as you know at the moment we're still in lockdown so I've not had far to go really to do any sketching and things um, so that was a hyacinth in the house just as it was coming out this one um we actually i'm a member of green door artists which you might know um, as south lakes art collective and um in february one of the themes for putting online was our favorite things so this is actually a little stone in the shape of a heart that the children painted when they were very small um, and i did a little poem there to go with that again that's over on my instagram page if you want to read the poem and things um, and that was the same hyacinth after it had started to come out and the flowers had started to open and this one's actually a beautiful scent um, that's a good thing about coloured hyacinths isn't it the white ones don't seem to have the same scent so going back into February again um, it, this was pancake day so I decided to draw the lemons um, and it's always good I, I have this little book in the kitchen at home as well as when I take them out with me um, and it is good sometimes when you've just got half an hour when the tea's cooking or something like that just to sit and sketch and it keeps your eye in um, keeps you observant and it's good all good practice for when you come to do a more finished uh, painting another day it keeps your muscle memory as well for your, your hands uh, and these were Valentine's roses so my husband bought me a dozen red roses I didn't 
uh, draw the whole dozen but I was looking at the lovely shapes of the um, these little leaves, well they're not leaves are they, they're the sort of what encapsulate the petals before they come out um, and they've got these little curly ends on them and lovely shapes so that was what I was trying to get with those roses aren't always the easiest thing to draw so they are actually quite a good practice for your drawing if you want something uh, to practice on a rose is quite an intricate thing to draw um, that one was a walk that I did up the fell I'm pointing up there because the fell's just outside the window here um, again it's quite a complicated one and I did work this up into a, a bigger picture at home uh, in the studio afterwards and there's a style up there and it, it's like I say it's quite a complicated picture but it was just to give me a feel of the colours it was a very sunny day and on the short grass um, the yellows and oranges were really reflected there uh, some crocus coming up through the grass in the orchard so it's nice now everything's out we've got the snow drops the crocus and the daffodils are just about to come out so we don't usually have the snow drops and the daffodils flowering alongside each other the snow drops have usually finished by now but they're really going on um, so this was the crocus before they'd opened out and they open out when they of course during the day when they've got the sun on them that was some catkins again that was on another walk um, just in the hedgerow and it's again thinking of spring and nice things coming out and about and that was a little skylark um, again up on the fell there's a lot of skylarks and I like hearing the, the sounds that they make and watching them actually they're quite interesting birds to watch so that is as far as I've got I'll probably do something a little bit later while I'm making the tea I really ought to fill these two pages these blank pages up as well so sometimes I work across two pages uh, and sometimes just on one but like again like I say again just listen to how nice and thick that paper is and how it's not gone through from one side to the other at all um, so that makes it a really really handy sketchbook to have so I've got all this to fill in and uh, like I say I've got another one there and I will certainly be buying some more because that is such a handy size for me um, to keep in my rucksack and just to keep on the side in the kitchen uh, and do a nice little sketch so it depends some people like to sketch a bit you know you'd be a bit freer if you the bigger the piece of paper you have um, and as a beginner I would say get a massive piece of paper to practice your drawing and things but um, if you like doing quite intricate things and you want some little sketches these are absolutely perfect um, so I don't often do um, review um, videos on YouTube but when something is nice um, I thought you might like me to share that with you okay so I will link that down in the description below thanks for watching and bye for now